Greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn Amanda, Lady of the Realm. And we are here about taking sides. Yep, you know, have you been in a battle or a fight between your friends, family, wherever you can think of, or just in a political debate? It is common for mankind to always pick a side. You know, one side has to be right. And the other's got to be wrong. It's always the... I got this from a book I read. I will tell you more, but, uh... I'm almost out of tea. You... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the well of knowledge is drawing, folks. So, I thought I'd take advantage of what I got here and... Tell you how I felt about that whole issue. About taking sides... For the most part, as a child, and even and what I try to do nowadays, is I play what I like to call an impartial judge. I don't take sides. I don't jump on the bag wagon too early until I hear from both. Because that's the problem with our society. We just think, oh, well... Let's say I found a word called cat's flarbin in the dictionary. Yeah, it's in the dictionary. Look it up. It means, uh, wait. It, oh, wait. Here it is. Yes. It means flowers that hawk up. It's a kind of flower that hawks up cat. Bit, which is some form of pollen. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, sorry, I'm not the world's best liar, but hey, at least you know you're getting honesty, for the most part. But, anyways. The reason why I've always been an impartial judge, or why I part this message on to you, of being what I like to call an impartial judge, is I would rather be the impartial judge than jump on any bad way. One, you can never get both sides to agree all at once. Two, regardless of whether the side is right or wrong, that side deserves to be heard. Okay. Three. Okay. And this is the last point that I'm going to make, don't worry. Okay. I... I guess I'm one of those people who that care too much when it comes to the situation. I've always been a victim of that kind of thing, you know. Evie, do you care way too much that the other side doesn't win, you know? This has nothing to do with winning. It's the fact that I could have lost a friend or a family member because, well, I had to take someone's side and it couldn't have been that. However, it's not saying it's easy being a partial judge. Okay? It's not. One... Because, whether you like it or not, you're still a judge. You still gotta make a decision. You know, you gotta cut off the person's leg or arm. Right? Because, hey, albeit you're right, it, I would really hate to lose my, my left, my right or my left arm. Sorry if you don't know your left or right. I have a hard time with that too. Yeah, fair enough. But, uh, but if I knew it could save me from dying, or maybe it would have stopped a lot more pain that could come my way, yeah, I would cut off my left arm, or I would have cut off my right arm. I mean, I'd be really upset if it was my, my right arm that had the problem. But, you know, 
That's why I was why I would go and learn how to write with my left hand. Or at least I wish I was ambidextrous. I really wish I was ambidextrous. This for this reason, but anyways. Yeah, it's not easy being an impartial judge, but like I said, it's good to I'm one of those people who do care a lot. I guess yeah, now I'm just circumlocating the whole issue, and am I? Sorry, I have a bad habit of doing that. You've seen most of my videos working on it. But, I enjoy... Hey. Um, I've never been one for debate. Even though... I didn't, I never liked to cause a fight. I never really like to be in the middle of one, the cause of one, but I will have to say I like to be the end of one. Mostly because you have to admit, at least, even if you're the impartial judge, it ends there. Much like this video will have to end here, so... I mean... Please relate to any time... Relate to any time where you have had to play impartial judge, and the pain that it had to be that kind of judge. To lose a friend or a family member. To go to a war. In fact, that's probably one of those few times where you're an impartial judge. And, well, okay, not, maybe not an impartial judge, but, well, no, actually, yeah, you can be an impartial judge. I mean, whether you're fighting in a war or not, you gotta kill, well. No, I guess you can't really say that, can I? Well, I'm sorry if I bring that up and I'm crying, because I guess... Whenever I think of that, I do think of thousands of people do go and die in that. That's those wars. I mean, think about it. That's basically what a president has to be in some matters. But I mean, he doesn't want to go to war with other people. He does have to. He does have to send people to go die. It's not his choice per se. But it's got to be done because, well, yeah. But anyways, please, put down in the comment section below if this has ever happened to you. And, uh, I'm sorry for the circumlocating and when I'm talking and, you know, when I talk like this, uh, please stay any time that this has happened to you and what you have to say. And you can disregard the part of what I was saying about the war and stuff. I I say that when I I do this sometimes. I apologize. So hope that didn't hurt anyone's feelings. Really I do. Anyways, please follow me on Tumblr, Twitter and well have a have a good day. I hope I have enough for your day anyway. Or hurt you in any way, shape, or form. Bye.